Did you know that there are more than 10,000 plant species living in alpine habitats? Are all of them cushion plants like these? Not necessarily. Typical growth patterns in the Alps also include dwarf shrubs and rosette plants. In general, they develop extensive root systems, while their above ground parts are comparatively small. So alpine conditions don't allow for more growth? Of course, stress-related factors like wind and low temperatures directly limit growth. That's the reason why we see small, stunted trees at the timberline. On the other hand, evolution has led to growth forms which create a favorable microclimate. In this way, cushion plants benefit from higher temperatures near the ground. And these species stick to their growth habits, even after being brought to lower altitudes, here in the botanical garden, where they enjoy the best thinkable care. And quite a long summer too. In contrast, plants in the mountains had to adapt to extremely short growing seasons. So you will find plants which require only a few weeks for the development of seeds. And even viviparous plants with plantlets already growing on the parent plant.